all in, all you. Welcome. I am so happy you are here this morning so we can get strong together. As usual, on Saturdays, we have a full body workout. And this is a super fun structure. We've done a workout like this quite a while ago, but I wanted to bring this style back. So I want to quickly explain it before we get going, just so you know what to expect. It's going to be a moderately heavy lift day. So keep that in mind when the exercises come up. But basically what we're going to do today, we're going to do triceps. So that's three exercises back to back to back with no rest in between or just enough for you to switch positions and get your weight. Now the triceps is going to lead into the next triceps. So for example, I mean the, the first uh, triceps, we've got shoulder press, squat, shoulder press. Second triceps, we're going to start back with that squat. We're going to do squat, row, squat. So each triceps is going to kind of build into the next one. So each exercise, we're going to have a chance to do three times through. We're going to, the end is going to be a little different. We're just going to work core, but we're going to work through one time through for each of the exercises, still with that triceps um, structure though. So with that, let's go ahead and get right in to our warm up. The only thing you will need, like I mentioned, are those moderately heavy dumbbells and that weight will be relative to you and the exercises we are doing. So we're going to start with sh forward shoulder rolls here. Just nice big circles forward. Good. Really take it back and forward, back and around. Feeling this as you're reaching back in your back. And then as you come forward, kind of feel it in the chest and the shoulders. We're going to take it back in three, two, and one. Let's take it back. And just breathing here, starting to get our mind ready for the workout, especially if you were like, eh, when you press play today. <laughs> Maybe you were like, whoa, and then you're kind of already in it. But if you were still a little bit more, eh, then we're going to get it right right now in this warm up. Forward kicks next. Next, we're going to work one side and, the, and then the other. Here's two and one. So with that forward kick, we're going to step back. Try to reach with your fingertips towards your toes as you come forward. And just taking it up right here. Good. And reach. We'll switch it up to that next side. In three, two, and one. Let's take it over to the other side. So, oh, Andy, yes, thank you. Start your watches if you wanna do that. I had mine ready to, wait, hold on, hold on. Where are we going here? Hold on, I need to do this. So I need to step back and do this. <laughs> Gotta get my mind right, you know? It's a little bit of, it's kinda of just floating out in the sea right now. We need to get it going. I will tell you what, I've told you this before, so maybe if you, maybe you've never heard, I used to be a figure skater. And the hardest part for me was always the footwork. Like there was a section where it would be like, the, you know, you have the jumps, the spins, um, different things like that. But footwork was where you do like crosses and hops and all these things with your hands and all. I, it would take me forever to memorize mine. But anyway, so sometimes still have that uh, struggle. Last two. Quad pulls next, and one. So from here, I'm just gonna take and reach that heel up to the bum, marching it out. Holding it for just a second until you feel a nice little stretch down the front, and then switch it right over. Reach and pulls next in three, two, and one, so reach and pull. We're gonna take it up to the top, reach up nice and high, and then pull back down. Think about bringing those elbows together in the back, and then back up, and pull. Today, work through um, the exercises at your own pace, but not too quick. So we wanna make sure we're keeping a consistent tempo throughout. And if you are lifting moderately heavy, you know your pace should be at a moderate pace as well. Two more, two, and then we're gonna get into that first super, or tricep, last one here, and pull. So if you want to have some additional weights nearby, because all throughout this workout, we're gonna be alternating between upper and lower body, 
shoulder press first followed by a squat so get the weight you need for both of those have them nearby because we'll switch right back and forth I'm gonna go with 15 for my shoulder press and then I'm gonna grab 20 for my squat all right so we'll have 40 seconds on the clock here grab your weights Shoulder press is gonna look like this. I'll show you and then you can join, and just in case you're like, what's a shoulder press? Maybe this is your very first live workout. So shoulder press here. We're gonna hit it for 40 seconds. Here we go. And exhale as you press up. Woo. This next week for Fit for the Holidays is going to be a tough one. We are working both more hypertrophy and endurance plus strength. So we've got it all going on next week. Just FYI. So you know what to look forward to next week for Fit for the Holidays. Almost there, we're gonna switch it up to a squat. Here's three, two, and one. Switching over for squat. 40 on. Here we go, down and up. So with these triceps, you're gonna see we've got that peripheral heart action. If you remember me talking about that before, that's where you're alternating between the upper and lower body. It really gets the heart rate up, but it's a super effective way to train. So just know you might be getting out of breath, heart rate's getting up, that is good. That's because the body is working hard to get that blood from the upper to the lower body. Back and forth here. Back to shoulder press. Woo. Here's three, two, one, shoulder press. Finishing out here. After this, you get 30. Here we go. Good, down, Woo. and breathe. Relax the shoulders, make sure as you press you're not shrugging. Halfway. Keep those hips tucked under, you don't want your bum sticking out, hips are tucked. 30 seconds to rest, two and one, okay. Breathe. Let's talk about that next tricep. Next tricep, bring in the squat back. So we're gonna do squat, row, squat. Breathing, Woo. So if you need two set, uh, different sets of weights for the squat and the row, grab that. Grab those weights for the squat. Five out. Getting ready, here's three, two, and let's squat. Keep the weight in the heels, keep that chest up, back is straight. Ooh. Good, 15. We're gonna switch it up to the row. So with that row, hinge at the hips, back flat, slight bend in the knees. Keep that back long and strong, good posture. And one, bend it over, back flat, stick that chest out, and let's row. Hold it at the top for a second. Really take your time in this one. Go slower than you might think you should, because I really want you to hold it, get that contraction, and then control it down. Fifteen seconds back into a squat. Woo. Here's three, two, one. Right back into squat. Bring those weights up. Forty on. Here we go. Thirty seconds to rest after this. You know triceps are tough. It's Saturday, we're all together, we're gonna 
push. We're gonna make it uncomfortable. What I want you to take from these strength workouts, not only getting physically stronger, but mentally stronger. So that you know, when something uncomfortable happens in life, you're gonna be ready because you've already had the practice. It's not much different. It's that same thing, I don't wanna, but we're gonna. There we go. <sighs> All right, row to sumo RDL. So that sumo RDL, let me just show you really quick. Legs out, toes out, down, and then roll back, or pull, not roll, sorry, pull back up. Driving those hips back, and then up. But row first, so row, sumo RDL, row. Let's hinge it over, back flat. Here we go, row it up, 40 on. Same thing with this row, I want you to take it slow. Really hold it, feel it. Feel that shake at the top right here, hold it, feel that shake, then control it down. Keep those arms nice and close to your body. Another thing, when you roll up, think about sticking your chest out down towards that ground with that flat back. So don't let your back round or arch. Sumo RDL, five out. Three, two, one, Whew. all right. Legs out, toes out, dumbbells down, and here we go. Back is staying flat. You don't want to round it. You don't have to go too low to really feel that stretch. In fact, with this position, you may not go down as low as you would with that neutral or a narrow RDL. One more set of rows after this. Woo. 10 out. Come on, keep a slight bend in the knees and pull. Here we go. Three, two, one. Final set of rows, bring those legs in. Here we go, 40 on. Remember, hold it nice and slow. Woo. Halfway. Back is starting to fatigue here. So if you need to take it up for a second, breathe it out, do that. And then bring it right back down. 10 out. Here it goes. Five, three, two, one. Whoo! Wow. Y'all, this is tough. All right. Does anyone remember this structure? We are going back to that sumo RDL, bicep curls, sumo RDL. So if you need to adjust your weight in between, have that. I'm gonna try to stick with the same for my bicep curls just to save time, and then I'll probably go down. But you do what you need to do here. So sumo RDL, legs out, toes out. Here we go, 40 on. And the thing with this peripheral heart action, you can kind of tell because it is tough. You feel that heart rate is up. We are really, the sweat is on. This, and like I mentioned, it is super effective. You may, and I really, I don't ever really like to talk about calories because it's not about calories, especially when it comes to strength training, but you will probably burn more calories this style. And I'm only saying that, that because you know we're up more about getting strong. Let's bring it up, elbows tucked in, bicep curls. If you can focus more on getting strong than say calories or whatever it may be, it's gonna get you so much farther. So just focus on going heavy. The thing with strength training is usually the calorie burn comes after the workout. Anyways, as your body is trying to recover and build that muscle back up. to know but again focus on lifting heavy getting strong 
Whew. Final set of sumo RDL. Good, here's three, two, one. Sumo RDL, 40 on, here we go. Really tighten up those hamstrings and the glutes here at the top. If you feel like your shoulders are starting to close in, open it up, keep that back flat. Dumbbells staying close to your center of gravity here. Man, if people from cycling are not here for this strength workout, they're gonna think we already did a cycling workout. <laughs> with how much sweat is pouring, 40 seconds. Whew. All right, bicep curl to lateral lunges. So let me just show you that, because we're gonna use one. I mean, you can use two for the lateral lunges. I just kind of prefer this position, but you can have two up on the shoulders. Lateral lunges, legs out. We're gonna drop it down. Modification, if you find those lunges bother your knees. You're gonna do a squat. You can have two dumbbells for this one. Lateral lift, so you'll have that other squat, or other dumbbell and lift. So back to bicep curls, then lateral lunges or squat to lift. Here's three, two, and 40 on. Whew. Keep those elbows tucked in and back. <sighs> Halfway. Almost there, lateral lunges or squat to lateral leg lift. In three, two, one. One or two dumbbells for that. Here we go, legs out. And let's bring it down. Keep that chest up. Whew. This one is tough. Really working those thighs on this one. Keep the weight back in your heels. So as you come forward, you don't want to lean forward. So make sure that chest stays up. And you, you can start, if you find this one tough, you don't have to take it too low. Just drop that bum down a bit. Switching it back up to curls. Three, two, one. Bicep curls. Right into it, 40 on. How you doing? You got it. Whew. We have got 10 triceps. This is the fifth one. So you know you're over halfway now. Oh, arms on fire. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe. All right. Back to those lateral lunges or your squat with lateral leg lift. Then it's going to be a quick one because we have to bring it to the floor for chest flies. So we're going to move really quick into that the chest flies on the ground. I'm actually gonna get my dumbbells ready out onto the side there for that. So if you have some space to get your dumbbells ready for that, do that. Lateral lunge, 40 on. Here we go. different. That's how I did it last time. I was like, wait a second, this, you can do it either way. But I'm gonna keep it wide, because that's what I've been doing. Oh. Here we are. Three, 
two, one. Bring it right down for chest flies. So palms face each other. We're gonna open up wide. Here we go. Squeeze and exhale. Slight bend in those arms as you fly. At the top, I like to tap my dumbbell ends closest to my pinkies together. Getting that extra little contraction with that slight twist there. Whew. Back to lateral lunges. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. Grabbing that weight. All right, 40 on, here we go. Good, keep your chest up. Whew, this one is getting tough. Almost there. Five, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna bring it back down to the mat. Chest fly, glute bridge, chest fly. So get your weight ready for the glute bridge. And we've got chest fly weight. All right, so let's roll it back. We'll move quickly. We've got 10 seconds. All right, let's drop it back. Chest flies here in three, two, and one. Chest flies out and squeeze. Whew. Twenty seconds. Glute bridge is next, so we're gonna quickly adjust the weight if needed. Go right into that glute bridge. Take that glute bridge slow, hold it at the top. We'll tap down quickly at the bottom and then back up. That's one right there. So adjust the weight. Glute bridge, we're gonna go back into the chest flies after this, so keep those weights nearby. All right, glute bridge, 40 on. Here we go, squeeze it up and down. Whew. And up. Remember, hold it at the top for just a second. Work at your own pace so you don't have to follow my speed. But the one thing we all should be doing, quick tap at the bottom and right back up. So don't hold it too long at the bottom. 10 seconds, we go back into chest flies. Good, here's three. Two, and one, right back into the chest flies. So grabbing your weights. Here we go, 40 on. And squeeze. Keep those weights right at the midline of your chest. Remember that armpit egg, crack it right here, crack it and squeeze. Woo. Over halfway. Woo, 10 out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, there it is. Okay, 30 seconds. We can, we can hang out here. We have got glute bridge. What do we have? Let me look. Oh, glute bridge, pull over, glute bridge. So that's our next set. For that pull over, you can use two or one dumbbell to take it back. 10 seconds out though, so get ready for glute bridge. Whew, bringing it up. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. 
glute bridge, 40 on. Hold it at the top. Tap it down quick, back up, squeeze. Weight stays in the heels, knees are tracking over those toes there, so you don't wanna let your knees fall out or in. 15 out. Don't try to get as many reps as you can. Try to keep that quality. Your focus here. Three, two, one. Right into pullover. So grab that weight. Arms perpendicular here to the ceiling and floor. And 40 on, here we go, drop it back. Pull and squeeze up. And squeeze and exhale, good. Fifteen seconds, right back into glute bridge after this. Here's five, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, glute bridge, both weights, or however you're working your weights here, get them up on the hips, and let's go. Lift and squeeze, and down. Whew. Make sure you're getting that little hold and squeeze at the top. Squeeze it out and then down. Good. And up. Ten out. Good. Here's five. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds to rest. All right. This next set. We're going to bring that shoulder press back because if you remember, we only had two shots at the shoulder press. So this is going to be pullover, shoulder press, pullover. <sighs> Breathing. So we'll move quickly back to our feet and then come back down to the ground. Then that last and final set, all about the abs. <sighs> Here we go. Pullover. Three, two, 40 on. Drop it and pull. Squeeze, there it is. Now as you pull up, you don't wanna take your arms down too far over. So just back perpendicular there to the ceiling and floor. Woo. Exhale as you pull up. 10 seconds, we bring it up for shoulder press. Final set for shoulder press. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, shoulder press. Ooh, 40 on. Here it is, let's go. Wrists are straight, punch that ceiling. Ooh. All the way down, all the way up. Nice job, keep it strong. You're halfway. You got this. Woo. There it is. Come on, push. Keep those hips tucked under. Good posture here. Five, back into the pullover. Four, three, two, Right down for pullover. Here it is. Final step for pullover. Let's drop it and pull. As your weight is down, tighten up the core right here and then keep it tight. Help it, have that core help you pull that weight back up. So right here, tighten the core and squeeze. <sighs> Almost there. Down and pull. Eight seconds. Four, three, 
two. You got 30 seconds to rest. We're gonna stay on the ground. Wow, three core exercises to go. We're gonna do right center, left center crunch. And then we're gonna do a side crunch. So let me, I'll show you side crunch. You can do both legs. You can have bent legs doing that bottom or the top leg to the crunch. Right center, left center crunch looks like this. Center, left, center. And we work through that. So we're starting with right center, left center. Here we go, 40 on. Last try set of the day. Good, and crunch and lift. Halfway. Get those shoulder blades up. As you're crunching, think about minimizing that space between your ribs and hips. Side crunch next. One side and then the other. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right, here we go. 40 on. Again with that modification, knees are bent, top leg just coming in here to meet that leg and elbow. Really tighten up here. Another one where you wanna think about minimizing that space between your ribs and your hips. So you really bring it in. Whew. And exhale with that crunch. Final exercise, we switch sides. 10 out. Wow, this is getting tough. Five, three, two, one. Switch it right over. Last 40 seconds of work. Here we go. Exhale with the crunch. Hold it for just a second at the top. Make sure you feel the elbow meet that leg and then you control it down. That goes with the bent option, so feel it and drop it. Feel it. 15 out. This is where that building that mental strength to push through what's tough comes in. Last one. Whew. Breathing. You did it. You are amazing. Saturday mornings are seriously the best. And it's because we get to do this together. So I'm so grateful to have you as the most amazing workout friend. I love you so much. If you have still not gotten fit for the holidays, make sure to get that. It is free. Comes with a mini bundle and the calendar to keep you going with your cycling and strength workouts right up until Christmas Eve. And uh, with that, we'll be over at the cycling channel. So hopefully I will see you over there as well. I love you so much. You are the bomb.